Experiment 2 Acid-Based Titration Determination of the Concentration of Hydrochloric Acid Solution Part A. Preparation of Standard Solution Setting up Apparatus Analytical Balance Step 1. Ensure all three doors of the balance are closed. Step 2. Press the ON OFF button. Step 3. Open one of the side doors and place a 50 ml of empty beaker. Then, gently close the sliding glass door. Step 4. Press the tear re zero button to cancel the weight of the beaker. The display will again read 0 0.0000 gram. The analytical balance is ready to be used. Preparation of standard solution. Step 1. Weigh to the nearest 0 0.0001 gram about 3.00 gram of hydrated oxalic acid and record. In order to prepare the solution, you will need dropper, glass rod, filter funnel, oxalic acid prepared earlier, distilled water, and 250 ml of volumetric flask. Step 1. Add approximately 30 ml of distilled water to dissolve the oxalic acid. Step 2. Transfer the solution into a 250 ml volumetric flask. Rinse the beaker and pour the content into the flask. Repeat two to three times. Add distilled water up to the calibrated mark of the volumetric flask. Step 3. Stopper and shake the flask to obtain a homogeneous solution. Step 4. Calculate the concentration of the standard oxalic acid solution. Use this solution to standardize the sodium hydroxide solution in Part B. Part B. Standardization of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Setting up apparatus Pipette filler There are two types of pipette filler Pipe pump and pipette bulb Parts of pipette bulb Air valve Suction bulb Suction bulb Empty valve Before using the pipe pump Remove the trapped air in the bulb by pressing the air valve A and the suction valve.
before using the pipe pump please ensure the roller can be scrolled up and down the pipette filler is ready to be used setting up apparatus pipette step 1 rinse pipette with distilled water followed by sodium hydroxide solution the pipette is ready to be used setting up apparatus burette Step 1. Rinse the burette with a distilled water. Step 2. Rinse the burette with a given sodium hydroxide solution to be standardized. The burette is ready to be used. Start the titration. Step 1. Fill the burette with the sodium hydroxide solution. Then, remove the filter funnel from the burette. Step 2. Turn the stop cock so that the burette tips is filled with the solution. Ensure there are no air bubbles trapped at the tip of the burette. Step 3. Record the initial burette reading to two decimal places. Example 1.90 ml. Step 4. Pipette 25 ml of oxalate acid solution from part A. Transfer the solution into a 250 ml conical flask. Add 2 drops of phenolphthalein to the oxalate acid solution. Step 6. Place a white tile underneath the flask so that any color chain can be clearly observed. Step 7. Titrate the acid with the sodium hydroxide solution from the burette. During the titration, swirl the flask continuously. Step 8. Rinse the unreacted solutions at the inner wall of the conical flask with distilled water. Step 9. Upon reaching the end point, a temporary pink solution appears but fades when the solution is swirled. Continue titrating until a pale pink color persists for more than 30 seconds. Step 10. Record the final burette reading to two decimal places. Step 11. Repeat the titration three times. Step 12. Calculate the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution. Part C. Determination of the molar concentration of hydrochloric solution. Step 1. Pipette 25 ml of a given hydrochloric solution. Transfer the solution into a 250 ml conical flask. Add 2 drops of phenolphthalein to the oxalate acid solution. Step 6. Place a white tile underneath the flask so that any color chain can be clearly observed. Step 7. Titrate the acid with the sodium hydroxide solution from the burette. During the titration, swirl the flask continuously. Step 8. Rinse the unreacted solutions at the inner wall of the conical flask with distilled water. Step 9. Upon reaching the end point, 
a temporary pink solution appears but fades when the solution is swirled. Continue titrating until a pale pink color persists for more than 30 seconds. Step 10. Record the final burette reading to two decimal places. Step 11. Repeat the titration three times. Step 12. Calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid solution.